Woo! We have got a very interesting video today. We are going to be taking it back to 2018, 2017, and we're going to be discussing fashion, streetwear. This is where I grew up. This is where my whole demeanor started. And I feel like I'm not even dressed for the occasion. I think I need to change that. What is good everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing streetwear photography, sneaker photography, fashion photography. It is a subject that is very very close to my heart because for anyone watching who has been following me since the start you will know that I basically built my entire career from streetwear photography, from sneaker photography, hanging out with my friends, taking photos of cool shoes. That is basically where I started my entire photography journey. Discussing this subject with you guys I think is very important and it will also give you an idea about how I think about photography when it comes to fashion, streetwear, how I think about it, my absolute process. We're going to go into about five or six different tips regarding streetwear, urban photography, getting you guys out there shooting absolute bangers. And I'm going to start off by headlining the main tip of the whole video, which is there are no boundaries when it comes to streetwear photography. I'm gonna show you guys my best streetwear photos and see if you can work out what this means by just looking at these pictures. There are no rules when it comes to street or streetwear photography. You are ultimately your own boss. You are the dictator of the photo shoot. It's basically all these different types of photography rolled up into one. It's portrait, it's architecture, it's every sort of topic of photography rolled up into one big bubble and you have the freedom to do whatever you want in that environment. A lot of the streetwear in those photos I just showed you are very expensive and I'm not saying for one minute you guys have to go out and spend your hard earned money on the most expensive sneakers or the best Supreme outfit because they cost a lot of money. And for anyone that knows streetwear, you'll know that an outfit from Supreme or some pair of off-whites will cost you around like 800 or maybe a thousand pounds depending on you know what it is. So I'm not saying for one minute you guys need to go out there and just spend all your money on streetwear to get good photos. No matter what brand it is you or your friend likes to wear, whether it be Supreme or off-white or Top Man or Urban Outfit is Uniqlo, whatever brand it is, it does not matter. All that matters is that you've got your own creative freedom in that streetwear urban environment to do whatever you want with what you have. So actually being with someone who is quite fashion forward, whether it be a friend or a model or your mate who's a photographer who happens to be wearing like a sick outfit on that day, by basically making them bring a load of different outfits will make out for much more fun and better photos because you've got that selection to choose from. So you could ask them to bring an extra pair of pants or like an extra jacket or a few hoodies or an extra pair of shoes. Like it doesn't matter what it is, but by having that selection of things to photograph, it will make out for just a much more fun and unique shoot because you won't just be shooting that one item that he's bought with him. So you won't only be shooting that one jacket in and amongst the city. You'll have so many different things to photograph throughout that day. It will just make out for much more fun. And if you bring those different outfits, you can be out for a couple hours shooting a whole bunch of different looks during different times of the day. That is something that's really easy and simple to do. And it's just a lot of fun when you're around people and your friends who just want to take cool photos of fashion. Every single time without fail before I step out of my front door, I always make sure I have a location in mind that I'm going to be going to so that it actually complements the outfit that I have with me. For example, if I'm taking with me quite a bright colored jacket like this blue and yellow Supreme North Face jacket, I will try and find locations to shoot that particular item that are either very desaturated that don't have any color at all or something that matches the jacket. So like a yellow staircase or I took this to a really, really cool location in the arches because I knew that that particular jacket, because it is very bright, will look amazing in the location that is quite desaturated and it takes a lot of the attention away from the background because your clothing item or whatever you're shooting grabs the attention straight away. And then for someone to look at that photo and think, oh, he's got a really, really cool Supreme jacket on, this location that he's in is also amazing. It just complements the whole outfit photo literally 10 times better than just finding some, I don't know, just a really, really crappy location that you just kind of want to get a photo of your outfit and it 
actually has no artistic feel to it. Whereas if you actually think about planning and think about where you are going to go to make that outfit just look 10 times better will just improve your whole look. And especially if you want to post that image onto Instagram and you continue to do so, your feed is going to look really cool and artistic as well as fashionable. Moving on now to sneakers, we're gonna put the streetwear clothing aspect aside for the moment, and we're gonna talk solely about sneaker photography. Now, sneakers are amazing to photograph because they come in so many different colors, they come in so many different shapes and designs, you can utilize that to your advantage. Because of sneaker photography, I actually managed to get my first ever paid job with a brand called Puma. They actually flew me out to Miami to shoot their Puma jamming campaign back in early, I think late 2017, December 2017, I was flown out there and they basically paid me to go out and shoot their shoe campaign. And the reason why that came about is because I got really, really creative online with sneaker photography. Because I had a bunch of different sneakers at that time, photography for me was just a hobby. And I would take those sneakers around London just to cool locations that I found online and on Google or whatever. I'll take them to those really cool locations and shoot them so that I could draw more attention to not only the shoe, but to the background and my surrounding. If I was feeling super creative, I would experiment with like, water and fire and smoke within the shoe sneaker photography so that it would enhance the look of the product but also it create a much more dynamic artistic look to the photo like I mentioned before with the streetwear images but for sneakers. So ultimately my top tip for sneaker photography is use your surroundings to your advantage. Use your city, use what's in your home and just take that time to think outside the box. Moving back now to urban environments, solely street city environment. If you are in a very, very built up city like in London or Chicago or New York, try and use the buildings to create more dramatic images by shooting upwards at the subject. Because I know in London, there are a few places where you can go where you can get amazing architecture shots within fashion. So if you had someone sitting on like a wall and then you shot upwards, you can get a really, really cool dynamic shot if you have these amazing, really tall buildings and it will just make the photo looks 10 times more cinematic than just shooting one straight on and you're not getting that depth and that height of the buildings in that image. And also timing. Timing is very, very important when it comes down to doing streetwear photography in the city because if you get up super, super early, you can get to these really cool locations before like anyone else has been there and you won't have to sit there and wait for people to move out your way or you can get really, really cool shots in the middle of a road at like 5 a.m. when there's no cars on the road whatsoever because I've had experiences where I've got up really early and got amazing photos and we've stayed out. More people start to like appear in the city and it starts to get busier and busier and then it gets harder for you to get shots because there's just people in your way and it just gets very frustrating. Choosing your times very carefully is another very, very important thing to take into consideration when doing streetwear photography. If you've planned out to do a shoot and the weather might happen to be quite bad that day, it doesn't mean it won't make out for good photos just because the weather isn't on your side. Because different weather and different weather environments are gonna create lots of different moods. If there's a thunderstorm that's about to roll in, you're gonna get different photos when it's approaching than you will when it's actually here, if that makes sense. Fun little fact, but whenever I've shot photos just before it's about to pour down with rain, I have managed to capture some of the most amazing images I've ever taken, simply because of the cloud patterns in the sky and it becomes really dark and moody with like a hint of soft light and people like running around with umbrellas splashing into puddles and everything's wet and it just looks so much more cinematic and cool because the weather is bad. So I'm telling all this stuff to you guys but this is all my experience from shooting streetwear and street photography. It's not the definitive, it's not right, it's not wrong. This is not like the final word or anything like that. These are just my suggestions. The feeling of getting home and seeing a really really cool photo that you've created, there's no better feeling in my opinion. The best advice I can give you just grab some friends, grab your camera, go down to the city, go to wherever and just explore. If you have some really cool streetwear photos that you wanna share with me, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys have created. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips did help and I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. I've said that twice, but okay, peace.